Okay, this is a meeting of the Amherst Cultural Council. Uh, Angela Mills, our town um, liaison, could not be here at uh, this time, but this call is being recorded. Matt, do you have to happen to have the script? Hey, Sylvie. Um, no, let's start with the with a roll call for audio. Matt, are you here? Yep. Yep. Rachel. I'm here. Excellent. Cody. Here. Great. Eleanor. Here. And Sylvie. I couldn't hear you, Sylvie. So I have to have you do it one more time. Nope, we don't. This is why we do this, because we don't have audio on Sylvie. <laughs> okay, how about now? That's great. Thank you. <clears throat> Excellent. Do you have the script, Matt? I do. And I don't think, you know, just, I think we can sort of, not all town bodies are using the script, you know, wrote in the way that, in the way that we always okay. do. So I'll just say, I mean, Basically, this is the attorney, the um, the governor, pursuant to the acts of chapter, chapter twenty of the acts of twenty one. Uh, we are allowed to conduct public meetings um, in re through remote means, um, and members of the public can always access our meetings on Zoom. Um, and you know there will be no in person attendance of the meeting. We also have the chat function turned off. Uh, members of the public are always welcome to come and join us and make public comment. Uh, and then in the event that people cannot attend via Zoom. Uh, we make the recording available on the town's YouTube channel as quickly as possible after the meeting. It's it's funny for those who don't know, we have this like this script from four years ago with like red pencil circling the section that we're reading. It's like, you know, it's a little outdated, I would just say, but we do need to make the, the comment that we're not meeting in person, of course. So um, we sent out a, a balanced slate of grants this afternoon. Um, and, you know, hopefully we can sort of discuss a couple of the last minute or sort of the final tweaks that Julianne and I uh, agreed on and then and then take a vote. But we did want to just let one thing, just put one thing out there for everybody. Um, so this past year was our first year of direct granting where we gave everybody the money up front. And a part of that process is they sign off on an on a agreement that they will submit a final report within two weeks of completing their activity. And within the letter that we sent them, we said, if you don't do this, we can't give you a grant next year. So technically, everybody has until December 31st to submit their final report. And there's two or three grantees who we are tentatively marking as approved who have not yet submitted their report. Some of them, you know, ran their event in November or December. So, you know, there's a little bit more, you can kind of understand it better. Um, so what we would like to do, and, and we can certainly discuss this, is um, we would like to take a vote on the slate that we'll show in a moment, um, but also to sort of add the line that, you know, um, any, any of these approved folks who are not, uh, who don't complete their FY23 grants, you know, you kind of authorized Julianne and me to just distribute the, their grant out to somebody else. In other words, we just we we can't sort of allow anybody to to slide on that because that was this was a a long drawn out process with with the town, with the state, with many people, and and one of the big guarantees that we made to the town was that we would do what I just described, which is you know if somebody doesn't act, if somebody doesn't fulfill the requirements of the direct granting process, they just cannot be given money again. Because you know it, that's that's one of the very few safeguards we have to make sure people are acting in in sort of good faith or or executing on the grant. Um, so, with that being said, um, Julie, do you want it? There's one or two that we that we wound up zeroing out who just had not given us any logistical information. Do we want to sort of talk about that any further? You you have it. I, I we emailed it out. Um. Did everybody get a chance to kind of look through that? And um, yeah, I mean, if everyone's <clears throat> looked at it, I would rather not open up <clears throat> every single one, you yeah. know, 
given yep. the time and we we'd promised everyone that we would do this quickly. So if we've all done our homework, then I'd, I'd really think it'd be more appropriate to just hear from anyone who has, has any concerns about what they're seeing and um, happy to address that, those, yeah. whether Rachel. it's an amount. Um, Rachel. Yes. Hi. So first of all, thank you both so much for all the hard work you've done. I know how much I actually don't know exactly how much time, but I know it's been a huge amount of time on both your part. And I we really appreciate that. So thank you very much for that, first of all. And um, I looked through the allocation and I would like to raise a question and just propose mm -hmm. once again that, um, just for the record, that um, the amount that we're giving to the Amherst Historical Society, I see it's at 1800, right? Mm -hmm. um, of the 2,800 that they requested. Um, and then I um, I still would really love to be able to give more to Restless Books for their project. And right now they're being half funded. Um, so my proposal, and obviously like this is just my personal um, opinion is to, to take 200 from Amherst Historical Society and 200 from the tunes at noon for the survival center and give that to the restless books project. That's my kind of my only comment on the overall allocations. Thank you. I think we did take some money from the tunes at noon compared to what we had done before. I don't think that was fully funded and it, I think it usually is fully funded. So we already, did take two hundred dollars from yeah. there. I, um, I appreciate. Sorry, yeah. Julie. I appreciate what you said last time about not wanting to give certain, you know, grantees less than what we've given them in the past. I think at the same time, I I feel like well, we have to take into account the realities of each grant cycle and how many people are are applying and how much is being requested versus how much we have to give. So I um I guess um it's it's not a it's not a discredit or punishment to any grantees that if they happen to get less money than they have in the past when they've applied for the same amount. Um, so anyway, so I've said my bit and I will. Yeah, that that's okay. fine. I'm just kind of working, working through some of the, the, the thinking there. I'm sorry. I'm looking for the name of the, the other one that you would like to add funds to. And I've, it, I've lost it. She, uh, she's supposed to take funds from, Historical Society and Survival Center and add them to Restless Books. And and Rachel, I'd like to work with you on doing that as well, because I think the Restless Books project around amplifying immigrant voices is one that, you know, certainly we want that can be one of the ones that we sort of spotlight, celebrate, highlight. They're also a really if you haven't been in there, it's a really neat little storefront um, right on Main Street, right, <laughs> right across the street from Amherst Books. But the model mm -hmm. is that they have like their editorial team, quote unquote, working retail. So like they've got their own books. Has, anybody, has everybody been there? Am I, am I preaching to the choir? I think I think it's really interesting because of your your take on that, Matt, because um, I've talked to writers and editors who understand that to be their office where they happen to sell books. So right, that's exactly. quite fun that they have, you know, all those different positionings. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and Rachel, I supported fully funding this particular grant if possible. And now that I'm looking at the number there, it, it is kind of hard that it is so low. As far as where where those funds come from, you know, um they're potentially in any number of places, you know. Yeah. Okay, we, so let's let's move let's oh, move sorry, forward what, with, with the plan. Eleanor to has do a comment. And, El Eleanor. Why don't we say we'll get to we'll get them to two thousand? No worries. Yeah. That's I was just five hundred. Why can't Sorry. we hear? I'd like to hear Eleanor's comment. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm interrupting people without meaning to. Um, I was gonna say I I'm totally for the the reallocation, but also could we just advocate that like if um people don't end up submitting their grant stuff from last year, that that money could go to them, or of mm -hmm. you know a couple choices, but like that could be a nice place to put that extra money if we end up with that. I I agree. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. That um, I just said what Eleanor said, you know, I get the want to fund them way more in, and I would like to, to it's just tough. It feels that we already agreed on the numbers, and we 
is a high chance that even with Christmas worth people up that we will have funds available for those that are not eligible for grants that you so I would that's my ideal preference and just not take money from other places and go backwards or, 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 or commitment to grant the same or more to those that have been regular. So... I, I mean, I, I, I definitely support the idea of, of boosting Restless, and I completely support the idea of, you know, pinpointing those those potential funds as being a source to recoup any any whatever was pulled from others to get Restless where it needs to go. And and I don't want to assume, though, that, that those folks are not going to get their reports in because, like I said, you know, two of the three, I think, had had events in the past month or so 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 my i think i think my my spin on eleanor's idea and cody's idea is to fully fund restless at 1500 and then kind of commit to recouping the 15 that we take from other grantees if you know if anybody else doesn't if, if anybody else doesn't fulfill their final report um but i, I think we should be prepared to just make that 1500 cut and, and live with it because I, I want to assume that folks are going to do the report. You mean, you mean um, an additional 1500, right? Just to clarify. Cause I think it was 3000. Uh, yeah. I meant getting restless oh, up to 3000. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't I, I'd love to get them up to 3000, but I, I don't feel comfortable cutting 1500 from other grantees right this minute. Did I miss something? What do you feel comfortable doing? Let's yeah, let's, let's, let's get a, um, I mean, this has been a, a tough year to to fully fund um, much of of anyone, and and um... yeah, what what number would you feel comfortable with? Well, we we did discuss this one at, at pretty good length last week, and we ended up at fifteen hundred last week. Um, you know, I I thought we were trying to get. Uh, I thought Rachel had asked to take 200 from one and 200 from another and get them up to 1900 or 2000 is a nice round number. I didn't know that we were trying to make up 1500 here. I mean, if, if other funds come back because of uh, not doing final grant reports. Yeah. And yeah. I think, I think I, I look kind of closely at all the numbers, like before making that proposal. And I think that with the Amherst historical society, and I think I've said this all along with that, if we give them, 50% of what they're requesting, we're funding half of the concerts that they want to do. That's like a kind of an e even number. And same with the tunes at noon in terms of, um, you know, for the amount that we're cutting, it's just maybe we're not sponsoring one or two events, that 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 type of, um, that's how it would work out. And, and in both cases, they would still be getting more than 50% of what they requested. So that's- so one, one, more that. note, one more note on- Amherst Historical Society, where they have the the one core grant that was specifically strings at the strong, and then they supported another grant for Lefevre, which is getting significantly less funding than was asked for. And then there was another performer who regularly performs there who didn't meet uh, our criteria for um, the confirmed date, and and that grant was zeroed out. So. The total amount going towards events there is a lot less than what what was intended in the whole grant slate. So I think that's one of the reasons that we ended up uh, at, at that amount, and and because you know we've 
been at a similar level in the past, but it's actually, or maybe even higher. So I, I agree. I mean, I think we can take Wait, Julie, some from them. I, want, but- I want to interject because you, you, I thought we discussed that last week too. And, and, you know, just because they're the venue for performances, I don't, I, I don't think that we are really reviewing things ven- by venue. I mean, you know what I mean? Like the, the funding just happens to be going to artists who just happen to be playing there. I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not persuaded that that's really like a, a way to look at this that, that accurately or, or fairly kind of captures the, the flow of the money. I, I am actually persuaded by Rachel's point that, you know, if we, if we split, if we funded them at 50%, that would, that would indicate sort of a, a nice, I don't know, you know, a representation of their worth and, and, you know, but also like the expectation that they find an, multiple funding sources. Like, I think that's, that's a pretty compelling way to find 400 right there is to bring that 1800 down to 1400, which is half 28. And then we've almost got the five that we want to get restless up to, up to 2000. I don't know if that, does that make sense? Yeah, it, it makes sense. I guess, you know, ter- turnout for these events are, are good. So I'd hope that it does not result in them having less of what the community specifically asks for, which is live in-person music in town. Yeah, I mean, Restless Books is a very is an immigrant folk, you know, getting immigrant voices out there, which I think is also a community priority. So that I mean, that's that's all all fantastic. I just I just don't know why these two organizations suddenly in this conversation are kind of pitted against each other for the funds. I know that's what none of none of us want that at all. I don't think that's the case, Julianne. I think it's just more like we're we're looking at where reasonably we can take money from, and then I think if you wanted to look by venue, then the Cambodian event is also happening at the historical society and that's being fully funded well that's an entirely different thing than exactly and that's why it's it's fair to evaluate all the events separately regardless of where they're happening right i i guess i would just think that there are probably other other events across all of these rather than taking it from just one i i don't know i just um that that there are any number of these that one could warrant some of this money should shift to restless books to get us where we need to be. I think that's kind of, that's where I would defer to you all. Cause I propose taking 200 from this one and 200 from survival center. But that was just when I was looking at through all. The I mean, I, maybe I would look to take, you know, from events that aren't, aren't here in Amherst at all. You know, I don't know. I, I'm just not clear on you know the specifics of, of why we're taking it from one and putting it to the other as opposed to we just want to find the money for it and where's the appropriate place to find money for this it certainly feels better of we just want to you know find money and allocate an additional x dollars hey Ru- cody yeah that's absolutely good thought or if we just don't touch those are all directly in interest benefiting a good portion of the community and we can take a few hundred for firm events outside of I feel I think I'd be more comfortable doing that versus key entities and key orders in town. Well, yeah, I I take that point. I mean, I, I think maybe I think what Rachel was trying to do is was was sort of identify a grant that she felt needed to be prioritized and then find a reasonable way to boost the funding for it. Um, and sure, I mean, you know, we could we could instead look at out of town grants and, and try to boost funding in that way as well. I mean, you know, as as Julianne said, it's a tight it's a tight year. So, you know, we've, we've looked at all these pretty closely already. And I think, and I think Rachel 
understanding that went in, you know, and said, these are two large awards that, that her estimation, you know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't end the project. I think what got lost is sort of the, the making the case that Restless, that this particular pro project from Restless Books is a pretty special one um, in this year that we're having international, you know, in the world, which I, and I, I and so I'm, I'm processing that myself and I, and I want to thank, I want to thank you for highlighting that. And, and I think we've gotten so far into the, you know, where should we take it from that we've lost sight of that. And that is, that's a really strong point, um, Rachel. So, you know, you know, I mean, the, the thing we can do is we can sort of lightly take a hundred off of, you know, five. I mean, you know, like there's, there's ways to find uh, $400 if that's the number that we're trying to get for restless. I, personally, I think 500 makes more sense to get them to 2000. That, that has more of an impact. Mm -hmm. I agree. So we, we could vote. Are there, are there any other specific grants that anybody wanted to, to bring forward similarly? That, that they have a concern um, that it's either not funded or the amount funded. Um, you just, this is not really a problem that I have, but you just remind me what the summer concert series decision was. Like, were we deciding between two events for that? There, there was a duplication um, where the um, same lead applicant from the same organization applied for two separate grants and um, we, we can't fund both. So we could fund one or, or the other. And um, Matt, you shared a little bit more detail about the, but basically it's, it's okay. And both events will occur. Um, we, we right. didn't fund the summer concert series, which definitely people want. We didn't fund that last year. We did fund um, the cabaret at, at the, the Drake. They're both going forward, but we chose to fund the one that we funded previously and, and um, communicate again about the rules. Right. Okay. <laughs> I've jogged my memory. Thank you. Thank you. So I think I've got this just just gently taking a hundred off of a few without making the round numbers. Um, I did, I took 200 off of historical 100 off of, um, linguistic heritage, which we had, we had already gone from 1620 to 1300. So I brought linguistic heritage down to 1200 and I realized that was a, that's not a, we love that grant and please, we, I mean, we love all these grants, so don't, don't take, <laughs> Um, and we could take the remaining 200 off of A3, for example, they're at, they're at 1752 right now. I thought we were discussing not taking it from any of our in Amherst okay. grantees. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, Which is maybe harder because a lot of those are already small partials. So, um, yeah. <laughs> what about the sunset series at Skinner house, which is fully funded right now. We we could decrease that um, six hundred, and we 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 we're fully funding the six hundred they requested. We could take a little bit off of that one, right? We could. <laughs> okay, that's so where we all said, "Well, gosh, we really should go." <laughs> all right, so if I take two hundred off of there, so are you not okay with me reducing historical at all? I do think we should explore reducing outside of Amherst before we get into Amherst. Um, okay. Um, there's the, the dinosaurs one. We could take that down to 800 and that would still be at 75%. Okay. Um, one up at Hawks and Reed that we're doing for 500. What's the name of it? Human Agenda Theater. Okay. 
It's another one. I mean, Sophie Lippert at a thousand dollars in Northampton. Um, I think we might be there actually. Let me just get the Hawks and Reed done. So Hawks and Reed coming down to 400 gives us a total. Okay. You know, we're still 1100. No, we're a 100 over. So yeah, I just need a hundred dollars more. Um, so I was saying that if we did a, a hundred less on, um, I don't want to take it from the, the Klezmer Festival, <laughs> but it's not here. What about the, uh, youth, um, the hills, uh, not hillsides of the, the youth, the youth recovery theater. We're fully funding them right now at a thousand. Uh, we, yeah, we, we could take a thousand from there. A hundred. Uh, ironically, Rachel, that they're one of the ones that we're waiting for a report on. I personally would rather we not touch them unless we have to zero them out for the report. I just oh. think I've made the case before. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, there's not much more <laughs> for for me anyway that that matters with arts and culture than you know recovery theater stuff. Um, okay. well, well, let's look at at the. I mean, so the, Sophie Lippert said a a thousand dollars. So where is that one? I'm sorry, she's number fifty four. Fifty. Okay. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Um. Sure. Take that one down just, just to give you, you know, alternatives to that would be taking from. Um, the Shea Theater, who had a really moving theater project, and and that's the Shakespeare kind of... Festival, right? We're we're good. No, no. Sophie, Sophie Lippert comes to nine hundred, and we're good. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yeah. I want to piggyback actually on that idea even further. Oh no. Well, you know, if we're going to take this <laughs> conditional vote about redistributing any other remaining funds. I mean, do folks want us to want to kind of authorize us to start with trying to get um, restless books to it to full funding? Yeah, I yeah, think we could go for that. Yeah, I think we could look at that as far as any that are, uh, and we could put like a FF for fully fund next to them, where you have the other kind of criteria for um, rejection, just to to have those in mind. What would be the maximum amount of people that we would have if people did not turn in? The it's 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 not a huge amount. It really isn't. Probably Is two range of two thousand, I would guess. I I think probably I mean hopefully less than two thousand. Yeah, two, two to three, and uh, and again, we're very hopeful that all of that's going to come in. Right. So do we need to nominate another one or two recipients? Who? Yeah, one more I think would be smart. All right. Anybody got a, a secret crush on a grant that they want to um, advocate for? I loved the Shea Theater stuff, but I think we've done them. We've done them justice. And also I'd like an Amherst one a lot, I think. Which, Which one? Amherst? Hmm? I, I would say I liked the Shea Theater, but I think that we've basically fully funded it or have fully funded it. Um, and I would like like an Amherst one if possible. Mm -hmm. So I sorry, that's not helpful because I don't have a suggestion, but <laughs> that was my grand crush. Um, <laughs> let's see. I know we're all just kind of looking and thinking. I the I like the pollinators, but that's only a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'd I'd like to say, Matt. I don't know. Did you see the email from about Micah Fest Art for Change: The Mother's View? Um. No, but I, I love that one. It's in Northampton, but I, I personally that, really think it's great. That one, um, if if you guys will let me share my screen, we 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 did get um an email about this one and it was it was kind of on the on the late side um because of a family emergency that had happened. Um, but they responded in great detail. Um 
uh, as of December 5th. So, and I, I don't think I had, I had seen that. So, um, Frank, frankly, their teenage child has, has been in the hospital. So, um, let me, and, and is last I heard doing better. So let me, let me share the additional information here. Um, and where am I? Way too many tabs. Okay, here we go. So, oh, there's so many hands up when I just look to the, are those all officially up or should we look at this? It's just me and Cody, but okay. go ahead and. and... Okay, so um, they came back with specific dates and locations for this whole slate coming up and it looks pretty amazing. And they spoke to, sorry, I'm kind of scrolling through quickly, but how, how Amherst is involved. Um, but, but yeah, I think if I just kind of come back here, as far as there's, uh, quite a bit going on that, you know, we didn't, we didn't have the scope of this in, in the application. I, I think it's a great, we, we did pull up their website though. And I, I mean, I think we, we, as a council did take a pretty thorough look at sort of their. We thought they looked of, pretty, they looked good. We just didn't have the date location stuff, right? No, I, well, we funded them. Am I remembering them in a better light than they were? I thought I thought it was all good, and it was just you know date and location. We're like, hmm. I, I, I didn't. I wasn't like that. No, I, I mean we we funded them low because it was out of town. But I think we we were, it was clear that this is a pretty major, okay, undertaking, big event with with precedent. Okay, and it does seem like a unique event, and that if it went on it would become a recurring event and be a draw for the area and probably no, no it's this is not this is not the first time for it that's what i'm talking like we looked at the website we saw pictures from last year it's a big thing oh that's right i forget a lot these days it's a lot of information but okay so we'd like to do more here i don't know if we're looking at fully fun but we'd like to bump it up if there are funds so that okay so that could be one uh, cody do you have one i i have a feeling cody's got a I can't hear any. Um, yeah, I just this part in my head before you showed that which is not. It does look amazing. I, I was about to ask with the cavalry amount was, but again, I would support funding the event you just showed if yeah. we're able to. Yeah, and we, we fully funded cabaret, if I recall. Call. I mean, maybe we should look at it because because we had the duplicate and we had to not fund the the other um, event from from the same organization. I, I thought we stayed at fully funding the cabaret. So I, I think there's no more we can do there. So I want to advocate. I'm not sure which one is cabaret, but I, I want to actually advocate for the um, the public art one. And, and I think this. I don't know. I, I want to hear other people's thoughts on this. Um, but the public art one, remember, is um, painting electrical boxes around town, but it comes from our public arts commission. And, you know, that's a conversation for another year. If this is something that, that an Amherst entity wants to do, you know, we we can kind of step outside of the grant review process and and just we can kind of tag it as a local activity as well. Not that that, you know, doesn't really matter. The money's the money, no matter what. But but when I really think about our public art commission, how hard they work, how strapped they are for funds, we're half funding it. You know, I think it'll happen if we half fund it. But I think as municipal organizations, go ahead. 
Well, we have 2,500 that they weren't able to use that can't officially get returned to this pot of money yet. But I have a feeling that more funds, you know, we have the ability to move funds back to them that um, expired. They were extended and expired, but there's... Um, so rather than take funds from any other group to do that, but I mean, I guess, I guess, sure. You know, if, if we have funds to redistribute, I just don't want to take from anyone else right now. But aside from that, I, there, there's 2,500 coming back into us from that particular group. But we can't yeah, use it. Like I, I, right. I thought we were having a conversation about if money com if money comes back and we wind up canceling so ones that we want to boost yeah yeah okay right. so yeah i i agree that that won't be nice to boost but as long as i don't, don't want to take from anywhere but yeah boost it sure because i think it's really delightful is there anyone who doesn't like art that's whimsical around town <laughs> <laughs> yeah i hate it <laughs> yeah. no that sounds great All wait right, to right. ask the question julianne <laughs> subtle as a sledgehammer <laughs> i'd love to fully fund that yeah all right so i think we've got a couple of good ideas for places where that money can go and you know we will obviously hopefully we won't have to have any money to distribute hopefully it'll just all, all the reports will come in and it'll be fine but um, this gives us, you know, plenty of room to run if we do get a couple come in uh, in that fashion. So I think that's I think that's enough for now. Um, do we need to make a motion for you to request you and Julianne to do that. Yeah, I think I think if unless there's like further discussion and and honestly, I mean, if you have somebody that you love that you want to put on the, the radar, you know, don't don't hesitate. But unless there's further discussion, I think we're ready for a for a vote, y'all. Well, I'll make the motion. I will go ahead and make the motion. I, I was really hoping someone who hadn't I, been involved. In you know what? Make let's, the just, motion. let's just do it. Let's just. Let's I, just yeah, let's because just that's why I was asking. Are we, to, are we ready to make the motion? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> let's make the motion. Um. All right. I'm going to let you all handle that, Julianne. You can make the motion if you want to. I'll make the motion. Great. I'm sorry. Well, I think we need to define exactly what the motion is. So, Rachel, oh, what motion I, are you making? The the one that says that we would like for you and Matt to decide um, to allocate the funds in case there are extra based on people not returning their um, reports. Yeah, to reports. And That's otherwise to approve. Yeah. And otherwise to approve as as listed here now exactly. you want me to repeat that again or is that clear yeah let's get it one more time for the recording make sure it's help me eleanor sorry cody <laughs> i was i was typing it into the into the oh, okay you want to read <laughs> what you've typed yeah, what did you read oh, yeah I'll, I'll read it i'll say okay. motion to allocate possible extra funds but to otherwise vote on the final grant state. Cool. I'll make that motion. And okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. It takes a village. <laughs> okay, Matt, are you in favor? Matt. Yes. 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 Sylvie. Yes. Eleanor. Yes. I am a yes as well. Congratulations, fun friends. The fiscal year twenty. 2023 the 2024 cycle is completed and approved thank you all and congratulations to all our students for finishing the semester yes so thank you happy holidays happy holidays seriously holidays. are you both still in amherst i am not are you home sylvie yeah i'm home awesome thank you, thank you so much for taking the, thank taking the time you. to do this thanks for 
my gosh. Your family is letting us borrow you for a bit. <laughs> no, it's okay. You're you're getting me out of um a dinner that I didn't. <laughs> I didn't really get. <laughs> you know, if you want to say we got more meetings scheduled, <laughs> feel free. I just might. It might go yeah. a little long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta like finish those uh notes, right? It's like, yeah, the sorry. Minutes, the minutes. I gotta keep yeah. the minutes exactly. Yeah, have to turn around the minutes immediately. It's a, it's a real. <laughs> It's a real marathon. This exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, but but thank you both and all so much, seriously, for all the work that you put into this. Oh, thank you all. I mean, I'll tell you, just when you think you know what you're doing, it's been a real learning experience this year. I've been glad to learn with all of you. Yeah. Okay, so in, until next Happy year. Yes, until adjourned. next year. Happy holidays. Bye. Happy holidays. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye.